Welcome to Lock 1 of the Trans Severn System. It's uh, Sunday, May 11th, 2019. Just came to check out uh, the high water system set to open next weekend. And I know there's been a lot of talk online. Everybody's asking questions. Is the high water going to affect it? Maybe delay the opening like it did in 2017? already been down to the bottom of the steps here at the face of the lock. The water's up a good eight inches above the wall. I've just got sandals on so I'm not going down there. I'm not. The water's a little too cool to go for a swim so far still. There's massive cattails Almost like there was a surge in water that pushed them all up from uh, downstream, possibly. Kind of hard to see from up here, but the uh, water is well over the wall. See the retaining wall on the other side over there, the water is just pouring in behind it. Now it's nowhere near as high as it was in 17. I remember being here a couple years ago when all that happened and the bottom step here, it was underwater. And I'm standing on it and my feet are quite dry right now. So the water is only a couple inches up the concrete step. But you can see it surging in and out. Kind of hard to see. The guys down there, they're all fishing in uh, rubber boots and hip waders. The blue line, so the blue line wall looks to be above water, but just barely. See the water here coming in behind the uh, retaining wall. I don't know, it's just groundwater from up above seeping through, or if we have a natural spring here somewhere. But it's made a quite nice little waterfall on the retaining wall here. Hopefully this week they can uh, cycle the lock a couple times and the water will push all these cattails out. There's pretty big logs in here too on the other side. One over there is probably 8 feet long, 4 or 5 inches diameter. I'll see if I can get up to lock 2 and see what's happening there, but this is the lowest point right at the Bay of Quinney still. So. I know the dams are wide open can't get to the dam here. The uh, steps you see down there, just the other side of the train bridge, that leads over to the dam. Uh, there's a foot of water over the pathway down there. I can't even see the path here. It's just a reflection of water. So We'll go up the lock too, see what we can see there.
Okay, so change of plans. This is clearly not lock two. This is lock three. The uh, gate on the access road to lock two is uh, still closed and locked. And it's about a kilometer walk down an ugly, muddy trail. And it's starting to rain. And I'm not dressed to be hiking in the mud today, so. Lock 3 is a pretty big lock, too. One of the biggest ones this end of the uh, system, as far as I know, as far as height wise. You can see it's a long ways down there. Lots more cattails here. Now the walls are a lot higher here, so of course the water's not up over them, but you can see the black line on the wall. That's the uh, 2017 level. So it looks like we're still about a foot below 2017 high water mark. Anybody's ever been to Lock 3 at Glenn Miller? It's a fair drop. Somebody is missing a shoe. Some big logs again and all kinds of cattails and everything. This must be stuff coming down river. Just to give you an idea how fast the river is moving. Retaining wall there is normally two feet out of the water. Right now it looks to be about two feet and under the water, so the water's up, still up substantially from normal. The green marker down there buried must be one of the indicators on the uh, wall itself. That's it. Uh, fingers crossed everything opens next weekend on schedule. 
for now, I'm going to go back and sit in the car and turn the heat on because it is not a nice day out here today.